Eric Ten Hag confirms Man United interested in re-signing star sold five months ago. Eric Ten Hag has confirmed the club are interested in signing Alvaro Fernandez following his permanent move to Benfica in the summer. Fernandez joined United as a 16-year-old from Real Madrid, progressing through the academy with spells on loan at Preston in the Championship and back in Spain with Granada. The left back failed to make his first team debut at Old Trafford, however, joining Benfica on loan last January. The Portuguese giants exercised an option to sign him permanently for just £5 million in May, with Fernandes establishing himself as a key first-team player this season. Fernandes's thrilling performances have been particularly frustrating for United fans to watch given their shortage of left-backs with both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia still out injured. Speaking at a press conference on Friday, Ten Hag revealed the club are still keeping close tabs on the 21-year-old with a buyback clause on the table should he continue to impress. I think the process is perfect. We loan him to Preston, he got back, then we loan him to Granada, he didn't play so much there, and of course we, all the time, observed him and now we had the opportunity to sell him, Ten Hag said of Fernandez. But we have a buyback, clause, so we have control of the situation, I think that's what he needed. From Preston, then go to La Liga, go to Portugal, with Benfica, every time stepping up to a higher club and a better league. Now we have to see and assess the situation if he can be an option for us. But playing at Man United is not so easy, playing in the Premier League for Manchester United is not so easy. You need experience, also development. You get development from playing for better clubs and in better leagues. Fernandes has started all but one of Benfica's seven league games this term, playing the full 90 in the last five. He has also shown in the Champions League, turning in a superb performance in the 4-0 win over Atletico Madrid. Diego Simeone's side, along with La Liga giants Barcelona and Real Madrid are also closely monitoring Fernandez's progress. Man United players left meeting with Ineos chief rolling their eyes and shaking their heads. Manchester United players left a meeting with Sir Dave Brailsford rolling their eyes and shaking their heads after a lukewarm meeting with the Ineos chief. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos team completed their minority takeover at Old Trafford in February, acquiring a 27.7% stake in the club from the Glazer family, also taking control of all football operations at the club. The football structure has been revamped since the takeover with Omar Barada, Dan Ashworth, and Jason Wilcox brought in as chief executive, sporting director and technical director respectively. But the size of the task at hand has become more apparent in the early stages of the 2024-25 season with United languishing in 14th place with Eric Ten Hag, handed a contract extension after last May's FA Cup victory, under increasing pressure. Brailsford has been a key component in the Ineos machine, Ratcliffe's right-hand man and the company's director of sport who was credited with leading the revival of British cycling. Brailsford was present in a number of early meetings at United, meeting the first-team squad in February to explain the vision for the club under the new regime. ESPN report that meeting did not go down well with the players who were suitably unimpressed. Brailsford held a meeting with the first-team squad shortly after Ineos took charge of football operations at the club, a source told ESPN. He sat there in a cream shirt and pair of cream chinos, telling the players that he lived on the most exclusive street in Monte Carlo, but that he was coming to Manchester because he was going to help make United better. The players left the room rolling their eyes and shaking their heads. It was like they were supposed to be grateful that Dave had given up his idyllic lifestyle to save them all. All they've seen since is cost-cutting and people losing their jobs. There have already been 250 redundancies at the club with the latest measure seeing Sir Alex Ferguson's role as global club ambassador axed. Eric Cantona, one of the club's most esteemed figures, lashed out this week over that decision, describing it as scandalous. Chelsea boss Enzo Maresca says Manchester United sold a special player in Jadon Sancho. Chelsea boss Enzo Maresca believes Manchester United sold a special player in Jadon Sancho. Sancho has made an encouraging start to his Stamford Bridge career after ending his dismal spell at Old Trafford last summer. United spent more than £70 million to bring Sancho to the club in 2021 and had high hopes for the England international following his impressive stint with Borussia Dortmund. But Sancho only made 58 Premier League appearances for Manchester United, scoring nine goals, before being offloaded to Chelsea on transfer deadline day. 
The 24-year-old, who fell out with under-pressure United boss Eric Ten Hag, joined Chelsea on loan until the end of the season but as part of the deal the West London club agreed to sign him on a permanent transfer next summer for between £20 to £25 million. Pounds. Sancho is yet to open his account for Chelsea but has three assists in four Premier League appearances and Maresca insists he is pleased with his performances. Maresca, who left his job with Leicester City to take over at Stamford Bridge in July, believes Chelsea have signed a special player and urged Sancho to prove as much in the coming months. Jaden is doing well, Maresca said at a press conference on Friday. He needs to continue in the same way, work hard, every day. As I've said before, for sure he is going to help us. We really believe that he is a special player. But the only way for him to confirm that is by working hard every day and never be happy and always be ambitious. He needs to want more and more and more. Sancho has contributed to Chelsea's impressive start to the season, with the Blues taking 14 points from seven games to sit fourth in the Premier League table. Chelsea were widely expected to struggle in Maresca's first season at the club but the Blues have lost just one game, their opening day clash against defending champions Manchester City. Asked to rate his team's start to the 2024-25 campaign, Maresca said, I'm very happy because what I expected in terms of players, level, and style, I can see clearly that is there. It doesn't matter in this moment who is going to play, you can see clearly how we want to play. Chelsea's encouraging form and dynamic style of play will be put to the test on Sunday when they travel to Anfield to face early Premier League leaders Liverpool. On the threat of Liverpool, Maresca said, they are doing fantastic. Very good players, very good manager, very good club. It's already many years Liverpool are there, so they are continuing to do that and that is important for them. The Italian added, I think it is a special game for all of the clubs. Liverpool is a nice environment, fantastic stadium. We are excited to play this kind of game. All the games we have played until now have not been easy. We are going to do our best. I don't think Sunday's game defines where we are. In this moment, we have to be focused on things we need to improve. We have Liverpool and then two or three more games. Nottingham wasn't an easy game, or Brighton, West Ham away or Bournemouth away. Premier League is the best league in the world and the toughest league in the world. Eric Ten Hag breaks silence on Man United decision to ruthlessly axe Alex Ferguson. Eric Ten Hag says Manchester United's decision to axe Sir Alex Ferguson's ambassador role is having an impact on the club, admitting they still need him. It was revealed this week Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the United hierarchy have decided to terminate Ferguson's £2.6 million a year ambassadorial role as part of continued cost-cutting measures at Old Trafford. The legendary Scott retired as manager in 2013 after winning 38 trophies in 26 years at the helm, a move that has prompted a furious response from former players including Eric Cantona. Ferguson has been a presence in the stands since leaving the dugout with current United boss Ten Hag insistent he will stay be available to offer advice to players and staff when needed. Of course it has an impact on us, Ten Hag told a press conference on Friday. Sir Alex, of course, is Man United, he built United to where the club it is now and it impacts us. But on the other side, we know and Sir Alex knows, that is what he wants. He wants to see a winning Manchester United and I'm sure he's always available for every advice and we will need him, definitely, in the short term, as we did in the last two and a half years I am here. Now and then we have a good contact. I would say, once in half a year I meet formally with him, but also of course, informally, around games, I meet him. At the moment, we can't match the standards he set, but still we have won trophies. Remember, six years before, this club didn't win trophies, so we are coming back, we are returning, but obviously we are not there. But what's very important is that we need all the processes right and that we can construct a team that we can line up the best players, to construct the best team. The decision to end Ferguson's contract comes amid another turbulent spell at United with Ten Hag also hitting out at fairy tales and lies over his future. United are currently languishing in 14th place in the Premier League and take on Brentford at Old Trafford on Saturday.